New York Times bestselling author Brad Meltzer has a new nonfiction book about the little known true story of a Nazi plot to kill FDR, Joseph Stalin, and Winston Churchill at the height of World War II. The Nazi conspiracy details a crucial meeting that could have changed history. Brad Meltzer joins us live. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Good to be back. I, I think we recall the picture of FDR and Stalin, uh, Stalin and Churchill, but did I sleep through the assassination plot in high school or something? Is it, how did this, how'd you hear about this? Yeah, you know, I don't believe the internet's good for many things, but I happened to find, I found this story in an obscure little article, basically half a page, page long, didn't have many details, but a plot to kill Churchill, Stalin, and Roosevelt at the height of World War II, I wanted to know about it, and it led me to when FDR arrives in Tehran, Iran, for this meeting, this is the meeting of the big three, everyone's craning to see his motorcade, they all want to see the President of the United States, and this is a true story. They're all waving. They don't realize that the person in the motorcade is not FDR. It's actually a Secret Service decoy. The real FDR is across town, ducked down in hiding in the back of a beat up sedan because they're worried a Nazi assassin will kill him. And I just ruined chapter one of the Nazi conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how, did, uh, how did the Nazis catch wind of this meeting and how did it all transpire? You know, it's interesting, even to this day, no one knows the exact date that they figured out that the big three were gonna meet together. They're of course meeting together to plan Normandy, to see each other face to face. We were able to, uh, you know, so many Nazi records were destroyed, but one of the things that we found is that people like some of those head Nazis, the head of propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, used to keep really extensive diaries. Mm. And he very stupidly would write down top secret information in those diaries he was supposed to destroy. And it's how we were able to find out that they found out and cracked our international cables between FDR and Winston Churchill. Wow. They were listening to, to them. Tell us about Otto Skorzeny, a little known uh, Nazi bureaucrat. He's uh, the most amazing story in this book. One of them is beyond the plot itself. Otto Skorzeny is a Nazi who gets paged to come to Adolf Hitler's Wolf Slayer, his private headquarters. And Hitler wants to find his best special operations fighter. And you can see looking at him, um, this is not a nice person. And he lines up all of his special ops guys, and Adolf Hitler quizzes them with one question. He says, what do you think of Italy? And everyone starts answering, oh, Italy's on our side. We'll fight with them to the death. And Otto Skorzeny stands up and says, above every other voice, I am from Austria, my Fuhrer. And he's gambling because he knows Adolf Hitler is from Austria, and a true Austrian always resents Italy because they took a piece of Italy in World War I and never returned it. Mm -hmm. And right there, Adolf Hitler turns to Otto Skorzeny, this Nazi, and he says, you're my guy. He sends him on a secret mission. I won't ruin this part of the Nazi yeah. conspiracy, okay. but he sends him on a secret mission that is so wild and so crazy. We had to put real photographs in the book of this moment because we're like, no one will believe it huh. unless they see it with their own eyes. It's the wildest Nazi story you've never heard in your life. Wow. Many Americans might not know that there was a huge Nazi gathering in Madison Square Garden in New York in 1939. You know, it's really sad. Um, when, when Charlottesville happened and we saw Nazis marching in the street here in America, we all wring our hands. We say, I can't believe this happens in America. But what you're looking at now is a Nazi rally in World War II, giant banners of George Washington surrounded by swastikas. And the first speaker of the day says, if George Washington were alive today, that he would be friends with Adolf Hitler. And why is World War II, why are we still fighting Nazis in 2023? World War II isn't that long ago. Anne Frank and Barbara Walters were both born in the same year. Mm -hmm. And if anything we do with this book is to remind you that you must use your voice and fight back. When you see someone saying, those people are the cause of your problem, those people, you gotta say, stand up and say enough. To me, the American dream is not about making money. It's about seeing someone who's picked on. And when you see that, you say no. You cannot do that. Mm. The book is The Nazi Conspiracy, The Secret Plot to Kill Roosevelt, Stalin, and Churchill. You can check out bradmelter.com for more. Follow him on social media. Brad, always good to speak with you. Thanks, Brad. Thank you.